I took over direction of the Campus Writing Center and uh, we had a lot of questions about the beliefs and attitudes of those who use the Writing Center and of faculty on the campus uh, regarding what the services were, what our philosophy was, whether students knew about the service, how they felt if they did use the service, those kinds of questions. So we wanted some information about how to move forward with the Writing Center and in order to do that we needed to understand where we were at that moment. We had a number of questions. We did uh, three Survey Monkey surveys with lots of questions, and lots of branching to separate out those who had, for example, we had a student survey. When students left the Writing Center, we gave them a survey that was online and they used a laptop and they completed that before they left the Writing Center, most students. Some of them uh, were such frequent visitors that they would not do the survey again after a while. But um, uh, we caught a lot of our first-time students and we asked them things like, how did this session go? Will you come back again? How did you find out about the Writing Center? So there was just all kinds of information that we were trying to get a hold of. We gathered a lot of demographic information. We then surveyed students in classes who um, to see if they had or had not used the Writing Center. So we picked a number of classes and faculty helped with distributing the survey to those students and encouraging them to do the survey. So we were also able to get some information about students who had not used the Writing Center and then students who had used the Writing Center and what their later perceptions were. because. Um, a perception when you're just leaving the Writing Center is different than what your perception might be a semester later or even a few weeks later. And then we also uh, did a survey that we sent out to faculty and we got a large number of responses to that too. Um, Twenty-five percent of our faculty believe there's a stigma attached to using the Writing Center. So if a student goes there it's because there's something wrong. <laughs> or that students would be embarrassed to use it. 90% um, of our faculty say they assign writing, but only 70% give assignment sheets to students. So that means there are a lot of students who are being given writing assignments, but nobody's putting in writing how to do the assignment. They're giving them oral directions. And that's, uh, for students, I believe that's pretty problematic to not know what it is that you're that you really need to be doing, what kind of requirements, what kind of process you should follow, what kind of resources are available. And I um, imagine that students are often um, struggling to remember what it is they're supposed to be doing or to create a, a vision of what it is, what they're supposed to be doing if they don't have some kind of written directions for that. Um, eighty three percent of our faculty believe we need a writing center because students are unprepared for college writing. So again, um, again, that's a philosophical difference. I think it's important to have a writing center to help those students, but that's not the only reason for a writing center. 75% um, believe students should learn how to use and document sources in the writing center as opposed to um, instructors actually helping the students to learn that in their classes. So um, the belief is that if I tell my students that they need to use MLA documentation, that I don't need to teach them that. They either know it or somebody else is responsible for teaching them that, maybe the Writing Center or maybe an English class, something like that. Some conclusions that we drew that are that faculty have really high expectations for writing, which is a which is a wonderful thing, but they don't always see themselves as responsible for helping students to achieve those levels of expectation. The purpose of the Writing Center is unclear to a lot of faculty, and that's something that we have been working on. Um, faculty would like Writing Center services to include classroom visits and help with writing assignments and a better understanding of how to grade and comment on student writing. And we have a Writing Across the Curriculum program where we address a lot of those things. And our uh, Writing Center consultants will visit classrooms. The Writing Center director will visit classes and give assistance to the classes. 
who will work with them, with faculty to help them um, improve their writing assignments. So there are lots of avenues that we've opened up to improve the way we uh, assign and uh, consult on writing on the campus. Uh, in terms of the students leaving the Writing Center, 26% of our students are first generation college students, fewer than 5% are veterans, and 13% are single parents. Half of them are unemployed, but 30% work more than 20 hours a week on average. And we've used this information to help us um, uh, open an online college-wide writing center. So we, this semester, opened a writing center that is available 24 hours a day online. Students can submit their papers, and we have a number of consultants who, um, Monday through Friday, give feedback to students, usually within 24 hours, on their work. And um, they can get their feedback either in uh, the form of uh, typed-in comments, or screencasting, which means there's a video and audio of the consultant talking about the writing. So that's a, a new direction that we've taken in the Writing Center. And we've added this. I think what's really important about it is we have a lot of students with a lot of different needs in terms of time. So we're trying to address that. And we found some of that as a result of these surveys. Um, many students come to the Writing Center thinking someone's going to edit their paper. Most believe, um, and that's not what we do. Sometimes they come in and they ask for editing, but it's not, um, it's not very helpful to a student to edit their work for them. As long as someone's editing your work for you, you don't really learn how to address the issues that come up repeatedly. So if you have a problem, a pattern of errors with commas, and someone keeps fixing those for you, you never learn what's going on yourself, and you um, are unable to deal with those problems in the future. So the philosophy is um, instead of giving students a fish, we teach them to fish. Most faculty have very high expectations for student writing, but they don't see themselves as responsible for teaching about the writing students need to do in their classes. So that was a really important finding. The purpose of the Writing Center is unclear to many faculty. The distinction between tutoring and consulting is unclear. That's something we need to work on. Um, and then faculty would like more outreach from the Writing Center. So classroom visits, things like that. In terms of the students who are leaving the Writing Center that we surveyed, so the big conclusions are the Writing Center sees more, may see more first-generation students, veterans, and single parents than are represented percentage-wise in the general population on the college. So we're serving that need perhaps a little more. We, a majority of the students each semester are first-time visitors. Uh, teachers are the most important source of information about the Writing Center. Seventy, over 76 percent of the students said they found out about the Writing Center from a teacher. So that's important. Visibility is the second most important factor. Students need more information about online Writing Center services. Most of the students didn't even know at that time that we had online Writing Center. So we've, we're making a real effort to get that information out. Um, students are very satisfied by the consulting they receive, and they would recommend it to others. Almost every student found it to be either excellent or very good. And students want more Writing Center availability, but there's no clear need for specific times. And that's why we've launched the online writing lab, so that that service is available to them outside of just on-campus hours. Um, in terms of students in class, we also surveyed them to ask them about their past experiences or lack of experience with the Writing Center. And the big conclusions were that most students have writing assignments but do not have any incentive to use the Writing Center. So um, uh, faculty aren't giving students a reason to go to the Writing Center. They aren't recommending it or giving a little bit of extra credit or whatever. Um, and that contrasts with faculty belief that students need extra assistance with writing and that students are unprepared for college writing, but they're not giving them that little push to go to the Writing Center and get some help. Uh, most students are aware that we have a Writing Center, but most have not used it. 
most students want more information about the writing center. So that's what we found in the three surveys. That was, those were the major conclusions that I came to. Yes, online writing lab now. Um, we've changed the hours for the on-campus lab because we watched very closely the traffic that we were seeing and we uh, made some actual reductions to the overall hours of the writing lab. But then we staffed it with more people during the day so that um, we could um, work better with the numbers of students who were coming in during the heaviest times. I think that, um, well, what the literature about composition and rhetoric says is that you learn best to write by getting feedback that is focused at the point of need. So if you are struggling with your writing, getting feedback on that particular item is what will best move you ahead. It's, um, you need good response as a writer. You need someone who's reading your writing as a reader, responding as a reader and as a writer, and helping you to understand what your goals should be as you move to the next draft. Someone who will also help you to, or encourage you, and to help you um, understand the importance of revision. And I think that's what we're doing in a writing center, and I think that's what we do here. And I think that students are very happy with the services they get. So, um, and I don't know that, that you can directly relate a writing center visit to an improvement in a grade or uh, in that small of a space of time. But what we do believe is that over time, students uh, learn from each of these small experiences with writing and eventually they become stronger and stronger writers. I think I learned that, and I don't know if I learned this, but it was reinforced how long it takes to do everything. So if you put a study together or a proposal together, it always takes more time than you think it's going to take. Um, I think I found how important it is to get buy-in and work with your colleagues to um, to help you with your study. So I had to enlist the aid of a lot of faculty to run surveys in their classrooms. I had to work very hard to get faculty across the college to take the survey. Um, I had to enlist the buy-in of uh, the consultants in the writing center. They had to feel comfortable with the questions. Um, so it was really a group project. It wasn't just me working in my office with the door closed and that kind of thing. It was lots of people working together. And we're all, I think, very invested in student learning at this institution. And um, without that, it would be really difficult to complete one of these projects. But fortunately, people are very invested, and so they're very happy to help. I think that another wonderful thing about working at this institution is that these kinds of projects are encouraged. 